Hey, here's Aaron, who just delivered an Oscar-worthy performance out there as Chuck E. Cheese. Nice job, Aaron. Thanks. It's a lot of fun to play Chuck E. So what's your secret? The thing to remember is you have to make your movements really big and real exaggerated. You can't just move normally or it'll look like Chuck E. needs a nap or something. You've got to go way beyond what feels normal and make your movements big so Chuck E. Cheese comes alive for the audience. Okay, let's get ready to go to the Chuck E. camp. Here's what it looks like inside the costume when you're playing Chuck E. Cheese. Kids are wild about Chuck E. and it's always a blast to see them react to him. You know you're giving a great performance when the kids are smiling. But what about the costume? How do you keep it looking good? Well, since we're talking about the actual live performance right now, I'll keep it short. There's three main steps to keep your costume looking great. One, replace any pieces that are damaged, worn out, or just need to go in the garbage. For example, if your shoes are totally dogged out, then talk to your GM about ordering some new ones. Chucky needs to look his best. Second, keep Chucky clean and sanitized. This simply means making use of the cleaning products that are available in your costume care kit and of course regular trips to the cleaners. Third, always hang your costume up to keep it looking fresh. In the head, don't leave it on the ground. Put it in its proper spot, whether that's hanging or on a designated shelf. Hanging up the costume will also let it air out, not only for you, but for the next cast member that will be performing as Chucky. Thanks for the tips, Aaron. Hey, glad to help. You know, a guy like Aaron is the perfect cast member. He's great with the guest. He can play Chuck E. Cheese very well. He's got nice moves during the dance numbers, and he's also got a fantastic attitude. That's something all cast members would benefit from.